What is up everybody? Welcome to day five of Epic April and today we're going to be talking about the Hermes space plane. I am really excited about this project because it's happening right here in my hometown of Phoenix, Arizona. And it's just, it's so awesome! Morris Jarvis is the engineer behind the project. He started a company called Star Systems and what they're doing is using off-the-shelf components to build a suborbital space plane that's going to be launched from a high-altitude balloon. Once it's reached its max altitude, then they're going to have hybrid rocket engines in order to send it the rest of the way to suborbital space. They already have a prototype built in order to get as much data as they can. It would, I guess, be comparable to the Enterprise space shuttle. And they also have done several test firings of their hybrid rocket engine, but with a two-inch diameter nozzle. They also have a 3 inch diameter nozzle, but what they really need is a 10 inch diameter nozzle. And they also need more sensors and more hardware in order to collect the data they need to further their development. That's why Morris Jarvis and everyone at Star Systems have begun a Kickstarter. They're trying to raise $20,000 in order to have a full scale hybrid rocket motor test. The important thing is, go to their website, go to their Kickstarter, see how far along they are, and if you can, please try to help this project along, even if you can only donate a dollar. But if you donate more, then they actually try to give back to you. I'm going to try to donate as much as I can, but since it's right here in my own backyard, I want to volunteer for this. I mean, I want this to happen just because it's right here. <laughs> but, I mean, if this thing goes all the way to the full scale development, then... Uh, they're going to have as many passengers on board as the spaceship too, and he hasn't put a price ticket on it yet because, I mean, it's not quite, you know, a for sure thing, but, you know, if he does, I'm sure it'll probably be a heck of a lot cheaper than Spaceship 2, or possibly even the Lynx spacecraft, so... I'm really excited about it. Go check it out. I mean, uh, they've already had Story Musgrave endorse the project. Would you fly in it? I would ask them. I already said I want to sign up. They have so many different backers and sponsors, and I believe that this could, if with our help, become a real space plane. So every day when I'm uploading a new video, we're going to see how far along they've come. Where are they at today? They have 104 backers with $3,437 out of the $20,000 they need raised. And they have 23 days left to go. So we're going to check up on their progress every day. I'm going to donate towards it. And there is a little bit left in the bank of the Epic Future Space donations. And if it's alright with you guys, I'd like to donate at least the first or second tier towards that with that. As well as what I'm going to personally donate. But I want to, like I said, I want to get really involved with this project. So let's make this happen. I believe in you. Oh, just real quickly, I want to congratulate the National Reconnaissance Office for the recent launch of their classified payload on the Delta IV rocket from Vandenberg. What's cool is at the same time that that launch was happening, the Delta IV Heavy is being loaded over at Cape Canaveral. So, awesome to see American rockets launching with American payloads, even though they're kind of Russian, but more on that later. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, and remember everybody, Ad Astra, to the stars!